Hi everyone, Joe here with another Fallout 76 video. I hope you're enjoying Bethesda's idea of an April Fool's joke. It's double vendor caps, script, and bullion this weekend. And the holiday scorched are back. Happy hunting, and don't forget to set your collectrons to search for holiday gifts. While the background footage will show this event, that's not what this video is about. One of the comments I received on my original Bloodied Unyielding build video had a couple of great questions which I felt deserved a video of their own as an answer. Earth is a prison farm planet asked, what's the best build now? Is this, meaning the Bloodied Unyielding build, still good? And they also added a comment about seeing more power armor builds in the game, which is true. My response in the comments was something along the lines of, it depends. I know that was kind of lame, so in this video, we'll do a deeper dive. So let's jump in. Let me answer the second question first. Is the Bloodied Unyielding build still good? Yes, very much so. The Bloodied Unyielding build is still really powerful. It is my current favorite build. It's really popular because of the damage potential from the Bloodied Weapon and the massive boost to special stats from the Unyielding Armor set. When you're playing on public teams, Look around and count how many people have high rads without taking the time to clear them. They are using a low health build, it's probably bloodied and yielding. But is it the best build in the game? Well, let's talk about that. That leads us nicely to the first question, which was, what is the best build in the game? Because of the constantly shifting game meta with each Bethesda release, the question, what is the best build in the game, is really complicated to answer. Let me explain. I didn't always have a bloodied unyielding build. I started out with a two-shot explosive stealth sniper build back when the game was first released. Two-shot explosive was an OP build all the way into 2019, but then Bethesda nerfed the explosive effect. So the game meta shifted away from explosive builds. I continued playing with the explosive build until I discovered the bloodied unyielding melee build on YouTube. I moved my points from perception over to strength so I could dominate with an unarmed build. Then Bethesda released One Wasteland with its change in damage calculations. It hit melee builds pretty hard so I shifted my points back from strength to perception, so I could use my bloodied fixer with a bloodied unyielding stealth commando build. And I love it. I fully expect that I will be changing builds again with the next meta shift. Don't forget, every time you heard me talk about shifting from one build to another, that means a minimum of 18 levels to grind, and that's assuming we only shift the base cards. So changing builds, until now at least, was a massive grind. The good news is that with this month's update adding the special loadout slots, we'll be able to switch builds more easily. That way, we'll be able to narrow down and update our builds really quickly. So instead of trying to answer the question, what is the best build in the game, let's flip it on its head and ask, how do I pick the build that's right for me? Answering that question is a lot easier, so let's talk about things to think about when picking a build. First, what playstyle do you like? Do you enjoy running and gunning? Do you prefer hiding and shooting from a distance or sneaking up on your opponents? Maybe you like up close and personal combat. Are you a team player or a lone wanderer? All of these can affect your build. Second, what are your in-game goals? Is your goal simply to level up as quickly as possible? Do you just want to survive while enjoying the storyline? Are you planning on PvP? outside of Nuclear Winter? Or do you just want to launch nukes and dominate Earl or the Scorch Beast Queen? Third, what legendary items do you have? Do you want to create your build around legendary items you already have? Or do you want to take the time to hunt for legendary items to fit your build? Your build can change a lot if you find better legendary weapons or armor sets. As I mentioned earlier, when I chose my first build, 
I started with whatever legendary items I had, which was a two-shot explosive lever action rifle, and I created my build around that. Bloodied, unyielding, junkies, vanguard, bolstering, vampires, whatever. When you find a weapon you like and armor to complement it, then maybe think about creating your build around that. So let's pick some options at random and create basic builds around them. If you like to run and gun and want to level up quickly, maybe a commando or heavy weapons build, with or without power armor, will work for you. If you like getting up close and personal, if you like to sneak up on your opponent, maybe even engage in PvP, then possibly a stealth ninja build is the way to go. To be honest, since I don't engage in PvP, I can't say if that's a good idea or not. Let me know in the comment section if you think it is. Are you a team player? Do you want to help the team defeat uber bosses? Maybe a medics build is the way to go, so you can deal out damage while healing yourself and your teammates. Check out the Friendly Fire perk card. Perhaps you like watching enemies kill themselves then maybe a high health vampire ricochet build using strangler heart power armor is for you. It will take a while to grind out the strangler heart though. So maybe you found that super OP three star legendary Gatling laser with a full set of vanguards armor to go with it. Then maybe a high health heavy weapons non power armor build is the way to go. Honestly, the options are endless. I do plan on showcasing some builds in the future, but I'm waiting until we get the special loadout so I don't have to grind out as many levels for it. So, Earth is a prison farm planet. What an interesting name. Thanks for your questions. I really appreciate them. And that's it for this video. Let me know in the comments section how you chose your build. Did you create one on your own or did you follow a YouTuber's advice? How has your character build evolved with the shifting game meta? What is your favorite build? Which one do you think is the best? What videos do you want to see in the future? And are you enjoying Bethesda's April Fool's Day joke? And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with another Fallout 76 video.